Some VFX projects could feel like the end of the world, but with these After Effects tips I'm about to show you, you'll not only survive, you'll thrive. Let's dive into it. With this first tip, you could reduce clutter and simplify your animations. Parent multiple layers or control cameras with a single null object. Just create a null object, parent your selected layers to it, and animate the null. Cleaner timeline, easier edits. You wanna add organic motion to an object in seconds? Try the wiggle expression. The wiggle expression adds random organic motion to any property with one line of code. Super simple. To add the wiggle expression, select the keyframe parameter that you wanna use it on and option click the keyframe. From here, you could add the expression wiggle parentheses and the number for the X, Y coordinates and adjust the two numbers based on the X or Y axis movement you'd like. Adjust the numbers and watch the movement change with it. And now your animations have a nice organic motion. Creators, real talk. Juggling five different apps to make one video, hard pass. That's why I've handed the reins to Sjin, my AI creative director. I type in a simple prompt and Sjin writes the script, storyboards the shots, and spits out matched images, audio, and video in one place. Need brand consistency? Sjin locks my character's look across every frame. No more, why does Theo have different ears comments. And it's fast. What used to burn through a whole entire weekend wraps before my coffee gets cold. That's 10 times productivity and budget left for more coffee. Bottom line, you bring the idea, Sjin brings the direction. Zero friction, all firepower. Hit the link below for a free trial and unleash your imagination. Tell them Lines to Design sent you. We've all been there. You put hard work into a composition only to find out you were working in 1080 the whole time, not 4K. Well, there's an easy fix to that. Instead of resizing manually, use the built-in script under File, then Scripts, then Scale Composition. Enter your new dimensions, and After Effects will automatically adjust the comp size, layers, and keyframes accordingly. When compositing your visual effects, it's important to not just trust your eyes, but look at the scopes to get a precise match to your scene. To enable your scopes, go to Window, Lumetri Scopes. And I usually enable the waveform for exposure and vector scope for hue and saturation. And from there, you can add the Lumetri color effect to your composite layer, and you'll have an amazing composite in no time. If you wanna work faster and just as efficient, use Mogerts. Mogerts or motion graphics templates let you design animated titles or any motion graphic in After Effects and then edit them inside Premiere. Perfect for handing off reusable titles, lower thirds, and branding graphics to clients or editors. Just design it, navigate to the Essential Graphics panel, select your sequence, drag your effects, and then export as Mogert. Then you could find these in Premiere and finish your edit that much faster. I'll drop a link below to one of my tutorials that goes in depth to how to create and use Mogerts. Now, continuing with the work smarter, not harder mindset, if you're using the same animation or effect in After Effects, just save it as a preset. For example, for my talking head project here, I have a Lumetri effect with the LUT in it, with my basic key light key and a key cleaner effect. So if I select all of these in the stack and right here under animation presets, I can select this, and save this stack as a preset. And when you're ready to use it again, just find the effect right here under user presets in your effects panel. In case you didn't know, After Effects supports true 3D text and shapes natively. Just make sure you're in the Cinema 4D workspace and your layer is a 3D layer. From here, you could adjust the geometry options like extrusion depth, bevel, and light your text without any plugins. Perfect for promo titles, product mockups, and 3D typography. All right, so let's say you're all done with your After Effects project and you need to pass it off or compile a project to hand to your editor or somebody else. Simple, go to File, then Dependencies, then Collect Files to bundle your entire project and all assets into one folder. That means footage, audio, project files, everything needed to open this project on any machine. This is a game changer. And bonus tip, with your main comp selected, choose remove unused footage to remove anything you're actually not using to reduce the clutter. One click can save you or your client hours of file hunting later. So if even one of these tips were helpful for you, hit that like button or drop a comment below telling me your favorite After Effects tip and be sure to subscribe for more post-production tutorials.